This is what my day looks like. First thing, get up, get out here at the crack of light and let the girls out. One thing that I want to show you guys today and that we're going to be working on today and the reason why I'm filming so early is look at the pond. The pond is full of foam and you might be wondering okay why is it foaming up like that well <clears throat> the reason why is because of the viscosity of the water the water tension hey ladies <laughs> up we go you coming Mia you coming we'll give you a hand okay As you can see, that water is quite foamy. And so the reason why is it's time to change the charcoal. Yes, that water tension is building up. The water's still cleaning quite well, but we're getting that foam because it's time to clean it. And some might be, people might be wondering, you're actually feeding your ducks right on the edge of their water? How the hell does your pond not just explode with algae and stink like a septic system and be all rotten? Well, it's the charcoal. It really is the charcoal and it's amazing. And I'm gonna show you how to just easily swap this out and how to collect your own charcoal too, if you will. So, let's keep this rolling. So, when it comes to making charcoal, you know, you can burn down a big fire. This is the fire from last night. And you can get these like little guys here and use these for your, your biochar and your filter. But what I like to do is when I have a nice raging fire going, I just simply take a shovel and pull up some coals. Now, I might be saying, well, is that the same as activated charcoal? And really, at the moment, no. No, it's not. But, once we rinse this charcoal, look at those beautiful pieces. Once we rinse the ash off of this, then, then it's activated charcoal. And we can go ahead and throw it in the filter and it will go and absorb just tons and tons of nitrogen and different things that are in there. And that will actually stop the, uh, the foaming. So, let me show you how simple it is to take care of this. Hey ladies, you getting a bite? See, they're down there foraging. Yeah, you'll have to check out the other video. I'm trying to get the pigeons to eat out of my hands. So, it hasn't been an easy process. But I got some great uh, tricks and tips on how to get them to do it. So there we go. You see the pond? See how... The volcanic rock is just covered in like a slime and you see the charcoal is like yeah, It's like definitely absorbed quite a bit here. So what we want to do is go ahead and unplug our pump and If you never know That's a kind of neat easy way to hold your plug on a fence if, if need be and then uh Yes, the solar 
the solar video on installing the solar water pump. That is definitely coming. Oh, here, I can leave this in here. This one's taking it out until we're ready to. So the way I designed this is we should be able to just pull this straight up without the bottom one coming out. Right? Oh, oh my God, this is so heavy. So this jerk over here, wondering what I'm gonna do with it. Well, here we go. We threw it in the truck, in the compost pile. You can see, man, these guys are so heavy. This probably weighs over a pound right now. Not only does it get logged with water, of course, the charcoal, but charcoal is honeycomb, so it absorbs all kinds of things. And you can see with how slimy and just built up everything is on that charcoal, it's time is done. So now all we simply do is fill the bucket back up with charcoal, <laughs> put it back in there and hey voila a few weeks a month down the line when we start seeing foam build up again well throw some more super activated biochar into your compost pile and when that breaks down and you throw it in the garden you better watch out because things are gonna grow like crazy and you don't have to compost it either if you don't want to i just do that so i can break down the worms get to it and different things but uh, that biochar can go directly in the garden. It's not too hot for the plants. It's just full of nutrients, and you will notice the difference. So build yourself a pond and get yourself some ducks and some charcoal, and uh, you'll have great crops, eggs, meat, all kinds of just awesome benefits. It's all about making an ecosystem. So pick something whatever it is, whether it's chickens, ducks, I hate chickens, they're fucking mean, anyways, chickens, ducks, whatever it is, horses, goats, whatever you want to do, and build an ecosystem around it, you know, are we still filming, yeah, this thing has been cutting out, battery's almost dead, we're still filming, but yeah, build yourself an ecosystem around it, you know, like with, with goats, using their, their manure for, you know, for gardening and different things, but whatever, or using them to trim back your poison oak. There's always different things that we can use. Just find out the uniqueness of an animal and build an ecosystem around that to capture all the energy and excess that that animal has to offer, and you will have amazing abundance. Ain't that right, ladies? Okay. And then, to refill this, really... This is what you do. This guy's a little too big. You don't want one that big. Boom. Fill that up in there. And we'll just throw that on top for good measure. Hey, bucket of charcoal. And it's like a, not even barely a fifth of the weight. It's super light. Yeah, hey ladies, hey ladies, hey ladies, like, why's the pond stop? Why's the pond stop? Where's our waterfall? Yeah, where's our waterfall? Yeah, yeah, what do you think of Mia? Yeah, Mia, oh, Mia, Mia, Mia. So Mia, you might be wondering why, uh, why I carry her out of the nest. What's going on with Mia? Why is she always just laying around not doing anything? Well, Mia... Almost two years ago, well, September, September will be two years, Mia ate a screw, and uh, that, uh, that changed her life forever, so that's one thing about making sure that you have grit for your animals, so you can see when you go to put the charcoal you go back to put in, the charcoal back in, you see it kind of wants to float a little bit, just give it some time, and then also, let me get that coming down in here we got a little bit of charcoal ash in there but that's all right it all will just absorb so you just kind of let it sit there <clears throat> it'll do its thing come back in a few minutes <clears throat> it'll sink and then go ahead and turn your pump on so you just gotta let that water log into that a little bit so it doesn't want to float out and there you go ladies and gentlemen it's really that simple this this setup is so easy to maintain. 
I thought it'd be about a week till I changed it and it ended up being like two. So, but that water, if you check back in the videos, man, was that water dirty? Like you see when I was dumping that water back into the pond when I, after I emptied it and had to refill it, this water was nasty. I, I mean, I should have gotten to it much sooner and now it's crystal clear. The girls are loving it. The, the water is the same water. I didn't change the water out. The filter cleaned everything. And now it's like as clean as rainwater. It's so clear. You can see the gravel, everything below it. So a simple little setup like this, no chemicals at all. You can even make yourself a natural swimming pool, filtering it with charcoal where, you know, if you didn't have ducks, you could just go swimming in it. I could swim this. This is actually safe enough to drink. Believe it or not, that is safe enough to drink because of the charcoal. It neutralizes so much. Yeah. I mean, you probably want to boil it first, but <clears throat> besides that, it's filtered. You guys like it? I got another video going on trying to get these guys to eat out of my hands. So if you like pigeons, check that out. All right. Thank you for joining me this morning. Starting off early day, getting this filter swapped out. Learn a little bit about charcoal and what's going on in the homestead. I really like that so many of you folks have been hitting the like and subscribe button and that little bell notification. It really helps out the channel a lot and we're growing quickly. I mean, we've been doing this for just over a month. We've been releasing videos every day, sometimes multiple times a day. And we're just keeping this going because the knowledge has to be shared. You know, we can't keep it all cooped up in our minds. We gotta share what we're doing so that way the rest of the world can learn. Because if I show you my mistakes and how I do things, well then you can show me your mistakes and how you can do things. And together we can all make the world a better place by learning from each other. Ain't that right? So, again, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.